Welcome to this video by Sierra Tech on how to use Quartus to change a project name and revision name to reflect a drawing number and revision level. This is a several step process in this demonstration. We are using a design file for an older PLD based on EPM 3128 with a top level block diagram showing interconnections between the VHDL blocks and the connections to the I.O. pins. The version of Cordis that we're using for this video is version 9.1 Service Pack 2, but this should work for newer versions of Cordis developed by Intel. Our first step that we need to do is document the PLD checksum. So we'll open the programmer, and we want to record this checksum number. Okay, we're now going to perform the first step in migrating the project to a new folder to copy the project. So we start with project and copy project. We'll leave this checked, open new project. So once the project has been copied, the active project will be changed to the new project in the design window. We now need to navigate to where we want to copy the project. The destination directory default uses the current project name with underscore copy as the destination directory. If that directory does not exist, it will create it. We like to use a different directory name, so I'm going to click the navigation button. I could create a new directory from here, but in this case I already have a directory created. So I'm going to go up one level and come down here to A01625 and I always put the Cordis version number so I know what the design is based on. Select that folder. Click Open. We now want to change the project name to our new project name for hierarchical purposes. We'll type A01625-B. The project name we typed contains our revision of the project. However, we still need to update the project revision in a later step. So when we click OK, this is going to create a new directory if need be and copy the project. And if you look up here, you see that we're in the current project 2070 6ED bounce and folder. So I'll click OK. It's going to compile. All right. Now if we look up here, you'll see that we are in the new folder, A01625 Q9.1 baseline. Our next step is to change the project revision, which will generate files based on the revision name. So we'll go up to Project Revisions. We're going to click Create, and we're going to leave these two checked, copy database and set as current revision. And we're going to give it a new revision name. And this is the name that will appear up in this area. So we're going to go ahead and put the drawing name A01625 revision B. This will actually create files based on the revision name and the POF and report files. So we'll click OK. Click OK. All right, at this point, we need to actually exit Cordis. OK, in our first step, after we exit Cordis, we need to delete a couple of the older files that are left behind. Select the first one 
hit Control, select the second one. Hit the Delete button. Click Yes. Now we need to rename the top level block diagram file to reflect the current numbering that we've generated down here. Right click, rename, and we'll just type A01695-B. Oops. And we have our vector waveform file that we want to keep for simulation purposes, and we'll also rename that A01625-B. And now it's time to restart Cortis. Okay, I'm going to open existing project. And I'm going to choose the new Cortis project file, A01625B. Okay, as you can see here, we have no number, so our work is not done yet. So now we need to fix the file hierarchy. This is the hierarchy entity window. So we go into Project, Add Remove Files in the project. There's really no particular order this needs to be done. What we could do is remove the block diagram file, the old one, remove, and the vector waveform file we could remove. Then we click the navigation button and we'll select the A01625 block diagram file. Click Add. We'll click it again. We want to change this to waveform files or vector files. Select that. Click Add. And let's go ahead and move this to the bottom. Click OK. Now we need to change the top level entity. To do that, Go up to Assignments, Settings. It was really unnecessary to close the dialog box previously. Click General. Okay, so we're going to rename the top level entity. Select it. This ultimately will appear here when we're done. This has no relation to what's appearing up here. This is the revision. We're making them the same. We'll click OK. Now we're going to set the top level entity name. So you come down here, Project Navigator, and click on Files. Here's our A01625 block diagram file. I'm going to right click on that. And we're going to set this as the top level entity. So left click on that. Now we're going to choose the hierarchy again. And now it's time to recompile the design. OK, and this has not changed from the previous compile when the project was being developed. These two warnings can be ignored. As you can see now, our project hierarchy has the correct name. And if I double click on this, it opens up. The instantiated blocks are interconnected the same as before. We have all of our pens of the device. And the last step is to confirm 
that the checksum is the same and has not changed. So we'll open up the programmer. And as you can see, the checksum here is the same. We hope you found this video to be helpful in renaming your projects for either baselining or creating a new project based on a previous project. If you did find it useful, please give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.